We are going to comment about uh, the video when Beep Bubble fails. Uh, I'd like to say that deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty is the best technique for corneal transplantation when the host endothelium is healthy. As you probably are aware, there are several approaches to reach decimate level dissection, which is the level that most of us would like to reach to get the best visual results. But the most commonly worldwide used technique is the big bubble technique. Including when this technique is in hands of the most experienced corneal surgeon, this approach sometimes fails in reaching this level. To deal with that, there are a number of strategies uh, that uh, try to make it easier. But the one proposed by the author is a very attractive one. It has several advantages, which are connected with the patients of the surgery, but some limitations because sometimes, as you will see on the video, the view of these small bubbles is not so easy. But I think it's a very clever and practical solution. Big bubble is the most popular technique for desmet separation in deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty. It is challenging yet rewarding corneal surgery. It is not always easy to achieve the big bubble. Finding the right depth can be quite difficult at times. What to do when big bubble is not formed? Shall we convert to penetrating keratoplasty now? Or is there any other way we can preserve the desmets and the vital layer of cornea? When big bubble fails, what helps? Authors do not have any financial interest to disclose. In the wet lab, we studied extensively on failure of formation of big bubble. We try to realize what happens at the deeper layer of cornea. What changes take place there. We also thoroughly observed the changes occurring at the posterior surface of the cornea. We noticed multiple tiny bubbles of various sizes and at various depths of the cornea. With the help of anterior segment OCT, we tried to understand the size extent and location of these micro bubbles. Some bubbles are very close to desmets membrane and some have already separated the desmets by reaching at the junction of stroma and desmets. Now can these micro bubbles be converted to a bigger one? Hypothetically, if one micro bubble can be punctured and viscoelastic substance injected it might be possible to detach the desmet from the rest of the stroma. So we went back to wet lab and see whether it really works. Picked the failed bubble cornea. Layer by layer dissection was carried out. Micro bubble nearest to desmet identified punctured viscoelastic substance injected desmet separated from rest of the stroma Rest of the surgical steps are similar to routine DALC procedure. Now came that big moment when we tried to implement what we learnt at the wet lab in a real life situation. It was a case of advanced keratoponus. Big bubble DALC was planned. 
superficial keratectomy performed. Ear injected, big bubble not achieved. Repeated at other site, failed again. Ear entered into anterior chamber. Layer by layer dissection was carried out. Micro bubble nearest to desmet identified. Punctured. Viscoelastic injected to detach desmet from rest of the stroma. Post-operative pictures with anterior segment OCT on day 1 showed good graft attachment. At 3 months, patient regained a visual acuity of 20-30. Coming to another case, where first attempt failed, second time failed again. The third attempt also went in vain of skewering the entire cornea. So, deeper incision given and layer by layer dissection of stroma was carried out until the desired depth was reached. These steps may have to be repeated until the perfect microbubble was identified. Microbubble closest to desmet identified and similarly desmet bearing was done. On the first post-operative day, the graft showed perfect apposition. A retrospective analysis of our 80 cases undergoing DALC procedure showed micro-bubble technique in 22 where big bubble technique failed initially. Three cases with micro-bubble technique ended in perforation. Micro-bubble helped in successful completion of procedure in 19 cases. Identification of the microbubble closest to desmet is of paramount importance when the big bubble is not achieved. And this microbubble can help to preserve the most vital layer of the cornea successfully. Big is ideal, but if it does not turn out perfect every time, even the tiny microbubbles have power enough to deliver good outcomes. Thank you for your kind attention.